If you've ever struggled to find hope amid bleak circumstances, you know how suffering can blind us from seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. There's a passage in the book of Ruth that captures that kind of feeling quite well. The book of Ruth opens by telling us the story of a mother-in-law, Naomi, whose husband and sons have died. The sons' wives are left behind with Naomi and want to travel with her back to the land of Judah. In Ruth 1.11, Naomi says, Turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Have I yet sons in my womb that they may become your husbands? Naomi had given up, and for good reason. She had lost those she loved, and culturally, she was without hope of a bright future for her or her daughters-in-law. Yet when we read on, we discover that there is great blessing and redemption just ahead for this group of widows. God was about to rescue Naomi and Ruth. They just weren't able to see it yet. Those in God's hands always have hope, whether in this life or in the one to come. Sometimes we're able to see the blessings come to fruition while we are still alive, and sometimes those blessings are seen only in the glory of heaven itself with Christ. This doesn't mean things will work out the way we expect them to, but all suffering is an invitation to trust that we are in God's hands and that God's love for us is better than we can imagine. He's always with us in the present pain and he will always be with us in the blessed future. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Trust him.